Hey guys, Coach John here, GF2Revolution.com. Good morning. Um, believe it or not, I'm actually ready. I know it probably don't look like it. Um, got my Energize flowing, feeling good. Um, we got Hammer Power today, day of the Hammer Challenge. And so last time, right, old worksheets. I wrote down my barbell numbers, what I thought I should use, but now I got a really good idea what I should do. So we'll get going on the new worksheet. Tag it all in. I got my numbers from last time, and let's see how good it goes this time. All right, guys, let's hit it. It's just pain. So we just knocked out hammer power and uh, as you can see I am so drenched um, I lighten the weights up a little bit because like and Siki talks about it, he says when you go light go light and so I'm like I did was doing 10 reps with uh, the bar and 10 pounds so that's 65 I'm like I could do it and I'm like hey, it's a little hard I feel good but it's not light like it needs to be light it's almost like you're going through the range of motion. And that's what's important about this is when you're teaching people how to deadlift properly, teaching them how to power clean, teaching them explosive Olympic movements, you want them to get the movement down. I don't want you to get weight, because when you add weight, that's when your form drops and everything else. It's so like literally when you teach someone to do a deadlift, you have them hold a broomstick behind their back, so that their head, the shoulders, the butt, everything's connected and until they can get that motion down you don't get to do weight same thing with squat your knees are going forward your heels are lifting you're on your toes eh, no weight and that's what we're doing here go light guys get that range of motion get that form down making sure like all right am i doing it right and you're like oh good pop right that's the good movement but if you're getting heavy weight and you're like Gah! and you're losing this big arc versus up and snapping under, it's too heavy. Don't get in your head, don't be an egomaniac. Do what's right, do what's proper to get the best results, okay? You think and you jump in head, I'm gonna get stronger, bigger, but no, you're gonna get hurt. You're gonna get a shoulder impingement. I don't want you to do that. I want you to stay safe. I want you to get quality results, all right? Like, I saw one a couple people the other day and someone said like, man, this person, I lost five pounds the first week, second week, nothing happened. This ain't working for me, I'm done. You gotta give it more time than that. You gotta see it through. Like Jim Rohn, I know I'm a Jim Rohn guy. Jim Rohn talks about the seasons, right? Winter, spring, summer, fall. You can't decide what you're gonna have. You can't say like, I want three springs, one summer, four falls, and no winters. It doesn't work like that, guys. You have to start, you have to progress through everything. And it's going to take time. So don't think you're gonna get a shortcut and ease through it. It don't happen that way. It took you a long time to put on the weight. It took you a long time to get you where you're at. It ain't gonna happen tomorrow. Put the time in, get the results, trust the process. So I don't know, that was my rant for the day. Keep it real guys, and remember, it's about getting fit together. You're not alone.